it was a moment that we could not allow to pass us by. And as a labor movement, there, I mean, I believe there's never a time to be complacent. That's the way it works. But at that moment, you certainly could not say, oh, yeah, we gave the good fight and we lost. It, there, was, there was no losing this one. The, the message is, is that, you know, collective bargaining rights and trade union freedoms uh, cannot be taken away from us. And we're not going to stand by uh, and allow it to happen. I think the challenge, obviously, as it always is, is when you're trying to play catch up. So that's where you're going to get the conflict, is employers are not going to want to play catch up. Workers are going to want to play catch up, which is why 2023 is going to be a, a very interesting period. Yeah, recessions are never good for workers. Um, I think that this one is going to be a little different in some ways, and it's because of the kind of demographics that we have in Canada at the moment. and. You know, you would really have to put a lot of people out of work to change the kind of labor force demographics that we're, we're dealing with right now. Employers are creatures of behavior, and they just went through a pandemic, came back, and lost workers, and now they can't get them again. So there's going to be, I think, some nervousness about just letting workers go. And they're going to have to get creative about how they keep workers um, attached to their workplace, uh, which is not something that we've experienced in a recession before.